and we are live hello everybody how's the audio everything sound okay just want to make sure everything's good before we get started and we're straight to the point here dark 30s here al's here boxy's here dark 30 again <laughs> uh, my mom's here I guess a few people are coming in here. We're just going to wait a little bit until uh, we just got a couple more people. Tom's here. Daddy Duck is here. You can hear me. Perfect. Um, the Huntsman's here. All right. So does somebody want to come up here? Someone who is self-proclaimed not very good with technology. Maybe they can ask a few questions as I go through. Maybe we can, because I might just assume you guys know a few things. Um, maybe someone who wants to just come up on panel here while I go through this and just, just to talk, ask some questions. Just waiting for the chat to catch up here. Raymond, how you doing? Here, I'm going to throw the link down there if anybody wants it. Um, you want to come up? Tom Ritter is there. Okay, Tom, you want to try to you? After five, good evening. I had everything set up down here and I had my power supply left upstairs. So I had to get my wife. She ran up and grabbed it for me. I had like 1% battery left. Everything was about to shut down on me. All right, Tom's here. For some reason. I can't add them to the stream. Tom, I can't see your face or anything, but uh, there's not showing any uh, connection. It just shows that you're here. Outdoor Life, Danny and Lorraine. Thanks for coming in, guys. Danny's a good name. I like that name. Tom, you're not showing up. I can see it says like Tom down in the like the basement area. But you're, I can't show that you're connected. When I click on it, nothing's happening right now. Tag and tail, thanks for coming in. Straight to the point. All right, let me see. Okay, so we got we got 11 people in here. I don't want to drag this out. Mark, hello. Um, I don't want to drag this out because it is a bit of a how-to video, and nobody wants to look at a how-to video that's that's you know 20 minutes beyond so i want to get the stuff out of the way at first so um tom it's still not showing you you're there buddy it, it won't allow you on when i click on it nothing happens yeah something's not up there with with tom's side i don't think um anyways we'll get started and you guys can ask some questions i'll come back to the chat every now and then so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys. So we're we're here to talk about Rumble in case you're just new, you're tuning in. Uh, hi, Tom. Um, I think I might have already said hi. Um, yeah, so we're, we're, this is like just an introduction to Rumble. Now, you guys seen my rant and a lot of people feel the same and things like that with, with the way things are moving, not just in YouTube, but in the world in general. Things just keep getting more restrictive. Nothing ever seems to relax back to what is normal. Um, they try to push this new kind of normal on us and into what it is. But uh, um, long story short, as content creators doing the kind of stuff we do, it's we need to have a platform where we can freely do it and not always be walking on eggshells. Because that's what I feel like right now with YouTube is I'm always walking on eggshells. I'm not sure what I can put in there when it comes to editing because I see some channels getting away with it. Other channels are getting demonetized for it. There's, and there's not a lot of communication with the actual YouTube and the content creators going on. So there's always this uncertainty and that's not, that's what I'm not comfortable with. So um, force one, uh, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Um, so basically the reason why I, I started doing the rumble thing is that my, my channel, like a lot of channels here are rather new. Uh, there's, there's other people here with, you know, well more established channels and stuff too, but um, I just want to have something now that I'm a young enough channel that's, not necessarily a fall back up on, but something where I can freely express myself a little bit more than 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 the restrictions that comes with uh, with YouTube and and the uncertainty and everything else. So, anyways, um, 
I don't want to drag that out, but we're going to set up a Rumble account. And I know a lot of people here might not be sure how to set it up. Uh, so that's what we're just going to touch on. So if you got any questions during the process, let me know. And uh, we'll get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to actual rumble.com. Um, when you're at rumble.com, uh, you go to sign up. And everybody can navigate that. I'm sure you can figure that out. And you'll be given this, register with Rumble. You'll be given three options. Now, this is where people start to get confused and stuff. Um, now, before I continue going, you guys can see the screen that I'm looking at, right? I just need to make sure. I have a plot. Yeah, yeah. You've had a couple in the last few. Yeah, and you're going to win most of them. I mean, I've had a few things too, and you're going to win, if not all of them. But it's just once again, there's it's it's like you're literally talking to a computer. There's no one on one with them or anything like that. And I'm not sure exactly how Rumble's going to be, but Rumble's less likely going to to like demonetize your stuff in that for a bit of blood or cutting your finger or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, Auntie's here. All right, so continue going. All right, perfect. So you can see it. All right, so what you're going to do, um, when you get to this page, this is where people start to get confused. There's free account, publisher, and business. Really, the only thing that this does is change the format of what you can do. I believe underneath every one, you can end up posting um, your, your content. You just need to, if you set up the free account, you just need to take an extra step. But I went to publisher, and the only thing that really changes is, like, if you say free account registration, well, everything here is free, but you'll notice... There's not a lot of extra information down here. When you add this, then you're given like referrals and stuff like that. Um, there's a little, it's just different information for signing up, but it doesn't really matter. Some people chose free, some people use publisher, not many people use business. Um, I chose publisher. Once I set that up and it just asks you basically this information here that you can see your name, password, email address, stuff like that. Um, you're set up on Rumble, and then you have your Rumble account. So now we're, we're logged into my Rumble account. I'm on Internet Explorer, which on this computer, because I haven't updated it forever, it doesn't work very good, like my plus and negatives for add a Rumble or subtract a Rumble, uh, which is their equivalent to like a like. Um, it's major. It's huge in, on this. Here, I'll just show you right quick. See, like look at the size of this. That ain't right. I got a little plus, big block, and a giant negative. So I don't know what's up there. But anyways, let me check back with the chat real quick here. He can't get in stream yard ever, he says. Small water say lives for copyright strikes. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so back to the page again. So once you're set up, you'll be set up with you'll you'll see this up in up in the corner, okay? This here is how you upload a video. Click this and you upload a video. Now, if you don't have this, that's because your account's not verified. So I'm gonna click on just my um, logo here and my name. I'm going to go to account overview. That's going to bring up a page with a, everything that you need as a content creator. Now, I've made five bucks already. I'll tell you how I made that in, in a second. We'll get back to that. Just somebody remind me if I forget. Um, so once you're in here, you're going to go to account verification. Then you, you verify. You put your phone number in and stuff like that. They're going to send a code. You check your text message on your phone. You type it in here. Then your account's verified. Once your account's verified, you can start uploading. So the way Rumble works is once your account is verified, it's basically a channel. You don't have to go down here and click uh, create a channel. I could go in here right now and I can create a channel. And, and uh, let's just for fun, let's do one. I'll say test. Um, that channel name is not available. So we'll say test of testes. That's not how you spell it, but whatever. Um, let, me, let me see here. And I'm just going to say test channel or test chain and then whatever. All right. We can browse for a thumbnail. We can add a thumbnail to it or not. And we can add in our URLs here and I hit create. It creates a channel. So now when I go in under my channels, I have this one pop up and I can go in here and I can add content. So what you can do in under Rumble is your account is your overhead channel. Okay. That's your account. That's what everything is linked to. You can make individual channels almost like a playlist. 
So for me, for instance, for my Mug Up Mondays, if I wanted to have just a Mug Up Monday channel where people can, can subscribe to just that channel, I can do it this way. And I could have this called Mug Up Monday channel. Or I can have one adventure channel. So it's, it's more like breaking it down into a playlist. I hope that clears it up for some people. But you don't need to create a channel once your account is verified. You can actually just start uploading from your account, and that is your overhead channel. Hopefully that makes sense. Let me check back with the chat. Sorry if I'm missing anything. Yes, okay, so for me, uh, it's about, I haven't noticed uh, it's any slower uploading to uh, Rumble, but I, because Rumble's processing of the video is a lot faster than I find YouTube's processing of the video. So the whole, to get it to publish for me so far, I mean, it's only been a couple videos. Uh, it's been pretty much the same. So how do people find you if they don't have a channel name? So you would have your channel name. So if, if you set up a account and you like, let's say if you call your cat, Matt, your account, Matt, right. Then you should start a, uh, a channel, call it daddy duck 365. And then people would just type in daddy duck 365 and they'd be able to find it. So if I go back to. We'll just go back to here. Um, now you guys see how you can create a channel, okay? And then you can just add to it. Now, I can also, if I want to, I can go to, um, let me just go back here for a second. And I'm gonna go down to uh, my channels and I can take this one here, okay? And let's say if I wanted to share a, one of my videos to this channel, it'll still be on my overhead channel, my Backwoods Barbarian one, right? But if I wanted to share it to this one also, so like people who are only subscribed to this channel, which is kind of more like a playlist, uh, I just click add and then I can just choose one of my videos. And this is one I have coming out. Uh, I can just click that and it'll get added to that playlist, but it'll also be in my overhead. So if I ever delete the playlist, the video stays on my overhead channel. It doesn't disappear with that channel. I hope that makes sense. Right. So if I go to like this one here, I'll just add it to that one. It's added, okay? So when I go back to my channels over here, okay, we're gonna go into this one. And there's the chant, there's that video I just added. Now I don't want this, I don't want the test chan. Um, so I'm gonna delete the whole channel, delete it. It's gone. I don't have any channels created because I don't need one. I have my overhead account, which acts like a channel. So then I can just go to, um, Let's just say my videos, all videos. And there's the video. It didn't disappear with it. It's still there because it's on. Um, it's not. It's just linked. So all your uploads basically go to uh, your main overhead channel, and then you can link it and put them where you want. I hope. Hopefully, that makes a little more sense for people. Let me check back here on the chat. Start asking questions if you have any. I'm gonna go up and see. So how do people find you if they have? They don't have a channel name. So yeah, you, they would have to find you through your overhead uh, account. So if you're, like I said, if you called your account Matt, you, they'd have to look up Matt until you create a channel, uh, Daddy Duck 365. They would just type that in and they would go to that channel, which is still linked to your overhead channel. Hopefully this is making sense for people. And as a, as a viewer, all you gotta do is go over, set up a basic account and uh and you can just go in and mingle and leave comments and stuff like that but i think you can just view videos anyways without having to set up an account but to leave comments you obviously we need to set up an account yeah so do you know how to change the name of your main channel you can't when you set up your channel with with rumble at the beginning you can't change your name that is user friendly right now uh you got to remember rumble is still rather new especially in comparison to youtube and they're always making changes. And the more people that are starting to use it, the more they're starting to promote. Uh, they're paying out more and they're updating their apps and stuff like that. Um, so back to Brian, it seems easier maybe on a PC. It is definitely easier on a PC. Don't be doing this on your phone. If you're only doing this on your phone, you're, you're, you're going to have more issues. You can do it. You can do it. And, and the app, I can go through the app in a second and just show you guys kind of basically how it works. Um, yeah, no, I'm I'm posting to both. I'm not leaving YouTube. Not leaving YouTube. 
Okay. YouTube is still my main focus of my stuff. It's still going to be my main focus because it's right now where most of the traffic is, right? So people are trying to grow their channel and stuff. YouTube um, is still my main focus, but this here is a close second. And I'm still going to be uploading to this. And there's, there's, I don't even want to call them first and second. I'm just managing both the best I can. I just don't expect Rumble to, to, to just, you know, explode overnight or anything like that. But also YouTube didn't explode overnight either. It took a lot of dedication and work, but yeah. Yeah, uh, Daddy Duck just uploaded a 1.25 gigabyte. Took 15 minutes. That's not too bad. I mean, I got crappy internet, so for me, it's that's not bad at all. That's really good. Um, you got to make sure your account is verified. So once you set up your account, make sure it's verified. Okay, you got to make sure that we'll get into the licensing very very quickly. Um, but what is a Rumble? So a Rumble is like a, a is a is basically a like and so it's hitting the like button except um your videos are gauged on the the number of rumbles it has so if, if someone comes in and gives you a negative it'll go down one if someone gives you a positive it'll go up one and the higher the number the better that video is uh the thing with um with rumble that is um hold on let me i don't want to get off track too far here let me get back to the web page because you guys are just staring at this page right now. Let me get back here and move around a little bit. Okay, so if I like this video that this guy got here, I'll click like, it'll give him a rumble. So, and then it just gets added to your overall overhead of like rumbles for your account. And the higher number of rumbles you have, the more your account seems to be um, liked by other people. It's just kind of like when you go to someone who has like 12 subscribers, and you see how many subscribers they have, and you're like, eh, it's 12 subscribers, it's probably not a good channel, but it could be a great channel, you don't know, but this is the same kind of thing. When someone sees that someone has more rumbles, then they're like, oh, this, this person's been verified by a lot of other people, so um, they probably got some good content. Um, and it, as for searching, the search features, very similar to any other ones, but if I want to look for videos, so I can click videos, or if I want to look for specific channels, I can look for channels. However, even in, under videos, if I just type in, uh, uh, I'll just type in my own name here, just for ease, Fackless Barbarian, boom, look at that. That one came up. It's still showing under the test chan, which doesn't exist anymore, but that's because it takes about 10 minutes and stuff for when you make account changes for it to, uh, for it to change. But if I go like to um, channels, there it is. Fackles Barbarian. Cool. And this one's still showing up here. But eventually, when this one disappears, that video will come back. This test channel will be gone. It just takes, like I said, it takes a few minutes. And uh, and it'll be back under the Fackles Barbarian one. Uh, I wish there was somebody talking with me to be able to answer more questions. Um, can you post the same video on YouTube and Rumble? Yeah, so we'll get into that in just a second here. We'll get into the licensing. So when it comes to YouTube licensing, or sorry, Rumble licensing, my bad. Let's go back to, maybe there's a spot here. So let's just run down through this list real quick. Um, you got stats and analytics. You click on here. That's where you can come in and you can check. Uh, so if you have it linked, they're managing your YouTube account as well. You can go in here. You can look at third parties. You can look at, you know, stuff like that. Um, the, and then I can click on monetize videos. So this is the only one I have monetized right now. And then I have a few that are, well, one's not out and the other one's still in the process. And that one, unless you go exclusive Rumble, your monetization will take several days if once it's approved. But the way what Rumble does is they monetize each video. They don't monetize your account. Like Google will monetize your account. And then the videos can be demonetized after that. Well, with Rumble, every video you put out will request a monetization. And how fast that goes through and how much you make on it and everything else, that depends on the, the licensing that you uh, pick. So uh, there's nothing there right now. Uh, no policy violations. My account's in good standings. And then I have subscriptions, channels. Um, you know, we went here. I don't have any because I deleted the one that I made in front of you guys. And then down here, I haven't really looked a whole lot in this, but this is like a pro thing because you can 
like YouTube, you know how on YouTube you can pay to not have ads? Well, you can do the same thing here. You can pay to not have ads and you can have, um, they'll, they'll give you uh, options to store content on a server so you can use it like, a, like remote storage, uh, that kind of thing as well, which is kind of like what YouTube does where you can put something up and keep it private. Uh, this thing you need to pay kind of to store. I don't, I don't think most people do that. I think most people just store their files on their computer and then upload them when they need them. Let me check back on the chat and see how you guys are doing. You will make a mission on your referral also. Yes, you make commission on your referrals. Um, how do you guys research videos uploaded on Facebook? Yes. Sorry, guys. I'm not following the chat. Oh, Daddy Duck's here. You guys want to come up? Sorry. You've been stuck there for a while. Oh, and after five. All right. These guys got questions. Let's bring them up. What's up? Hey, guys. What's up? That? I didn't oh. see you. Sorry. So you guys got some questions? A little bit. Um, are you able to cross post? Yes. No, no. Yeah, yes, you can cross post, and that depends on the licensing. You can't link. You still have to upload to one and upload to the other. So if you made a video and you would typically put, uh, like, you know, like us on YouTube or something like that, is that okay? Oh, yeah. It is. That's fine. Okay. Yes. So with the licensings, let me, um, sorry guys, let me just, uh, just well, Daniel, that's what I'm doing now is I, I've uploaded a video and I've got four options and I'm trying to figure out which one that I want is the best for me. That's my question. All right. So that's the licensing is the, is the big thing. I think a lot of people have most of the questions on, right? Um, I'm just going to bring it up here. I might be able to read. Okay. Yeah, so you're going to have four different options, right, for license, okay? Let me bring this over so you guys can see what I see. All right, you guys doing good tonight? So far. That's good. Doing good. All right. Uh, boom. Let's bring this back out and get rid of my ugly face. So with the licensing, you have exclusive video management license. So basically you're giving the rights to that video. So you produce this video. It's still your video, right? But the licensing for that video, you give it exclusively to Rumble. That will get your content monetized right away. Okay. This is something that I would probably consider if your Rumble account starts to grow a lot more. This is my, just my personal opinion. And you have a lot of like followers over on Rumble, and they're watching your stuff consistently. That then I could you could do exclusive videos, or if you have videos that has content that's just not welcoming over on YouTube, you could just post it there and have exclusive only. Okay. So basically, what you're saying with the exclusive videos, this content belongs to you, and that and it's only you, and you can distribute it however you see fit, and they'll send it to MSN, Yahoo, AOL, and others that they're associated with. Okay. Um, if you have a YouTube video on YouTube and you you choose exclusive video management license, you will get a copyright claim on your YouTube video. YouTube will say, hey, this company, Rumble, is saying they own this footage. And you're going to say, yep, and you agree to it. Now, if you're a monetized um, channel and you're making money from YouTube, whatever YouTube would pay you, you still get 90% of that. Rumble's only going to take 10% of that, and they're going to manage that, and they're going to push that video wherever they can. All their secondary sites over YouTube, because they're going to make some money out of it, too. And then you make 60%. So no matter what, you're still, even if you have a good YouTube channel and it's monetized, you can still potentially make more money allowing Rumble to uh, have complete control. However, you won't be being paid by YouTube. Pay, YouTube would be paying them, and then they would be paying you, if that makes sense. Hmm. So that's the first one. So that's like exclusive rumble. And if you have the same thing over on YouTube, they're going to claim it. Now that doesn't hurt your YouTube. You're just going to agree to the copyright claim. It's not a strike. You can do this for every one of your videos if you want to. However, like myself, I being new to rumble, I don't want to give all that my stuff and say, Hey, uh, you know, I want them to, to do whatever they can with it, but don't touch YouTube. 
This is where the video management license comes in. So the second, that's the second option. It's a video management. It's a, excluding YouTube. So they'll basically do everything they do in the first one. But if your stuff is on YouTube, they leave it alone. They will not go after YouTube for copyright strike. They won't go after YouTube for anything. As long as your stuff is over on YouTube, that is completely fine with them. But everywhere else, they manage. So that's probably the best one for people who have an established channel over on YouTube. Because that you can continue doing your YouTube stuff with that video over there. And as long as it's on YouTube, they'll leave it alone. They're just going to manage it on their platform and MSN and all these other things they, they associate with. Does that make sense? Now, question. So if I pick option two, they're not yes. going to touch my YouTube, but no. they will push it out the best they can. And I can still promote my videos via Facebook, Instagram, the whole nine yards. I do that, right? Yeah, you just can't take your video and upload it. Say if you had a three-minute video, you still have to, like most of us when we share a video to Facebook anyways, um, all we're doing is we're we're just um, linking it, right? We're only copying the link and pasting it. So people click on our Facebook, they're bringing them to YouTube or they're going to bring them to Rumble. You just can't upload the same stuff. So like if I uploaded a video to YouTube, say like my, my bear camera one that I released today, okay? Uh, I uploaded that one to YouTube and I uploaded that to Rumble. But under Rumble's licensing agreement, that's the license I chose, number two. So I can do whatever I want over YouTube with that video. I can change it. I can manipulate it. I can change the thumbnail. I can do whatever I want with it. They're not going to touch it because I'm YouTube. They're only going. They only care uh, with that option about the Rumble account and with uh, all the other like little, uh, you know, MSN AOL and all these other places that they'll distribute it. That's the only thing that they care about, really. Uh, so yeah, if you got a YouTube, if you're like yourself, I would recommend if you're a YouTuber to choose option two. Because you can keep doing YouTube stuff and you can do Rumble stuff. They'll push your stuff everywhere else and YouTube will be left alone. Everything everything over there will be between you and YouTube and that's it. So I can take and I can, uh, like I'm editing a video right, right now, I can take that video, upload it to YouTube, and then go upload it to Rumble as well. Yes, correct. Don't have to change anything in my editing style. I can still put my click, you know, subscribe on YouTube thing in there, everything. You can put it all in there. The only thing I would say be cautious of is um, make sure that like if you're just going to grab an old video that you've had in the past and you want to upload it to Rumble, make sure that like the music in it are, is still like, you know, free to use copyright music. Right. YouTube audio library is used, can be used anywhere from my understanding as well. Uh, as well as if you're playing for a subscription like Cody does with his stuff, uh, you can use that anywhere as well. Right, Cody? Uh I think so, but when I when I, I have Soundstripe, so when I go to put in the code in my description, it says give YouTube link. Doesn't say anything about Rumble, so I don't know. I would just yeah, if if, if you got a subscription to some kind of uh, music or, or audio um, company, I would just uh, yeah, just just check with them first before doing that. But like most of my stuff, the audio comes from. Uh, YouTube audio library and it's all uh, um, not, you know, what, what do they call it? Not uh, creative commons, but it's just. Uh, yeah. Yep. Creative commons. Yep. Yeah. It's just royalty free stuff is what I use over there. Mostly. NL ghost wolf is in. Thanks for coming in. Just frustrations. Hey guys, Harvey's here. Sorry if I missed anybody. RC customs. Yeah. I talked earlier. Yeah. I just want to say hi to everybody. So yeah, that's that. We'll go back to the other ones here. Now let's take a quick look at the, that stuff so the other one is the third license which is the rumble player license this ex this option excludes youtube and all third-party partners outside the rumble platform so this is just on rumble okay the video can be monetized on rumble only and is a non-exclusive license meaning the creator can still so if you're making like like i said like three four five minute videos um, maybe you're posting to your Instagram um, or your Facebook and you're just uploading it and you're not providing a link and you just want to share the actual video, that would be the best option for, for somebody like that. Just, just use the Rumble player license. And that way it's just, if it gets monetized, it's only on Rumble. Because that way maybe somebody has an MSN account and they want to share videos on MSN or uh, Vimeo or something like that. Hmm. 
Makes sense. And then the personal use, just basically you're uploading it to Rumble and that's it. They're not going to monetize it. It's just for you to look at and for you to share with your friends. And the only way that video will be found is if someone actually searches for that video. So that's option two is by far the best one to put in. Option two is by far the best one. But now from the research I've been looking at, exclusive video management license could be a good one if you want to monetize something and be sure that it's monetized. Um, if you Let's say you have a few videos that you put out on YouTube and it's just not capturing the audience in YouTube. Because um, if you go to Rumble, you don't have to be there very long. You'll realize that it is more right-wing than it is left-wing. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll figure that out. But, um, the exclusive video management. So say if you had a video on YouTube that just wasn't capturing enough of your audience and you were willing to sacrifice it from YouTube, you could take that and put it over there and give them full rights to it. It'll get monetized right away and they'll start distributing it. You'll get a copyright uh, um, claim and you just agree to it over on YouTube and everything's good to go. And that way, at least a video that wasn't doing anything over there might have a, a chance over on, on this platform. Okay. Uh, now, Daniel, I have three questions because I'm doing this as we're speaking. Okay. So, Good. All right. I'm picking option two, video management, excluding YouTube. Yes. I now have three questions. Who recorded and who appears? When and where was this video recorded? Provided, provide either your YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, or username. Yeah. So if if you uh hold on sorry let me just see if i can bring it up here in my channel yeah so just fill in like you don't have to go too too much in detail that's just to help with the monetization part of it so like if it says who's in here who's in this video and you write down the kkk it's probably gonna a few flags are gonna pop up um if somebody come if if, if you just say it's me and my dog that just helps. So just, I mean, but you got to answer these questions. Monetization. That's the only thing it's there for. You, you have to answer these questions. Um, does it, does it have an asterisk by it or does it say it has to be answered or does it say optional? It, it does. All it says is note when selecting video management, you're granting rumble exclusive rights management and that's there's no drop down is your three questions and you chose the one excluding youtube right right that's the one that's right. highlighted yeah and, and they then, want i don't i'm not sure i i filled them out the one, I don't, like i said i only uploaded a couple i filled them out but i just put in generic like the one that said who's in this video and who's recording. I literally said bears and trail cam. <laughs> hmm. Well, I know that I was just, just answered a question for ghost wolf. I I've been reading about rumble a little bit and uh, they're saying that it's growing very rapidly. There was like 1.9 million users uh, earlier this year. And now there's like almost 33 million. Yeah. Um, you can help you can thank the Biden administration for that. Right. Not just the Biden administration, but just the the uh, the I mean I, I don't want to I don't want to get political, but even here in Canada, a lot of anybody who has like you know traditional values or any any kind of center um, or center right political views, they're censored. No matter where you go, you're censored. Mm hmm over there they won't censor you because it's it's an opinion and it's freedom of opinions it's a freedom of expression and they, yeah. they they believe in these rights so they're not there to, to you know throw up random things on your on your page to try to push you in one direction or another they're just kind of like this is your content do what you got to do just no, I stay <laughs> it's not wall wall west over there too because obviously you know you can't have certain right. things and it, I think it's kind of coming out, Matt. I think you would agree that some of this stuff was kind of a maybe a farce on some of these big channels. Maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, the the big channel, this like before Flair and all these guys came out with all this stuff that they were talking about prior to. Um, let's get rid of that. I like th this is not my reaction to their videos. No, so much. right. Or just 
this with with YouTube. We've all been around YouTube long enough, at, even as viewers before we were content creators. YouTube has become, they put in restrictions, okay? Which some of them was like, okay, cool. YouTube got in a lot of trouble because people were putting like child abuse stuff up in that. And YouTube got in a lot of crap for that. So they said, well, now we got to determine if kids are in your videos or if it's made for kids. And so, right. I think we all agree that that's a good move. But then there's everything else that comes along and they, they add restrictions. You never see them say, um, you know, that you never see them relax anything or say, oh, you know, actually hunting, we've come to terms with hunting. We think that hunting is a moral and ethical thing for people to do. You, it's just, you're not going to see that. Mm -hmm. So that's my fear is that it's only going to continue to get more restrictive until right. we are out. Cause we're at the point right now. Well, I know for me when I'm editing, I'm like, oh, I just, I just you know, shot a grill and I shot the head off it. And I'm sitting there looking at, as I'm editing on, do I show myself holding the grouse without a head or do I just cut that out completely or you know what I mean like I'm always walking on eggshells I find when I'm editing as I've always got to think of not only the people who view my stuff but the people who might stumble across it and get offended I, th so I think a good rule of thumb one that I've tried to practice is I want to show hunting for what it is and uh, the realism of it but I also want to show it tastefully yes you know what oh, I mean? of course. yeah like we're we're we we still have to conduct ourselves i, I kind of goes without saying we still have to conduct ourselves like you know as people of nature not just wild people out there killing stuff and you know what i mean like mm -hmm. i'm not gonna be like hey yeah i can do whatever i want over this <laughs> no but i can show myself shoot the bear and i don't have to cut it off right away I can show myself approach the down, down bear that maybe has a bit of blood around the ground and I can show that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. right? Like walking up to it and stuff like that. I'm still not going to show myself, you know, gutting the thing and, and stuff like that, but it gives me the option. Like for instance, and one of the things I was thinking of was like, I have a bunch of quail that I need to process and uh, I'm going to be doing that in the next few days. Well, if I do a how to process video on quail and I'm and showing me, you know, very humanely, ending their life real quick and then showing how you proper way of bleeding them out. People, people need this type of education too. There's a lot of people out there. It took me forever. I know it sounds crazy because I, I, hunt and I, I, I kill birds all the time, but it's like, what's the best and most humane way to, to, to do this? Well, I don't find myself on YouTube looking up tutorials. I find myself on Google looking up forms where people are talking because YouTube is not going to show the stuff I need to know to educate myself. But there, there actually is quite a few skinning video. I mean, there's actually is a lot of stuff on YouTube. But uh, there's a butcher channel actually that has millions of subscribers. And I think, just my opinion, but I don't think YouTube's gonna like. I think me and Matt were talking about this. I don't think YouTube's gonna cut off their own foot because they're making money on hunting. I, I don't want to put all my eggs in the basket and put all my feet into that. That's my my that's my reason for the whole rumble thing is I want it to be let's say more than likely I, I would I would agree I'm agreeing with you I agree that more than likely they're not going to do that because they're going to be shooting themselves in, in the foot but what's to say they don't who's to say they don't right and then what you're gonna what what's gonna happen then then it's a panic then you're gonna go from whatever you're at at that time twenty thousand subs to zero you're right right. Yep. If you had something not necessarily to fall back on, but another thing you could put your efforts into, you if if if, if it you know if it does uh, try not to say bad words here, if it does right. uh, <laughs> just goes the hell in the hand basket, um, you know at least we have something that we can still share our content and and have have that uh, that thing to fall back on, right? Yeah. Um, I, and I agree. That's why I'm kind of looking at it too. But I'm looking. The thing I'm thinking of is like, gosh, I'm already spending ten to twelve hours a day on YouTube. Do I really have the time to? You know, that's that's the only thing for me. All right. Yes. Yeah, so what I start doing is yeah. I, I find a video that I did and I hit upload and I leave it and I upload and I go to bed and I come back and I just copy and paste the title and description over to it and choose that second license agreement and we're done. Okay, so you can do that. That was one of my concerns. Was yeah. when you upload there, you can set the date for in the future 
and then you can go back to the video, I believe, and just say publish now. Okay. So you can kind of do that. You just don't have the like the private option. Okay. Pick the right, I just yeah. I just took one of my best videos on YouTube. Yeah. And put it on Rumble just now. Took 15 yeah. minutes to download. It was 1.25 gigabytes. Yeah. It would have probably taken me another minute or less had I known which option to pick. That's why I was waiting. So in 16 minutes, I uploaded that video. I did not answer any of those questions. I left them blank, went all the way down to the bottom, hit terms of service and a, a question that you do a check by. And it now says ready to share monetize, monetization pending. That's yeah. all it says, but it's and there. Option three, it could take up to three days for it to be monetized or denied. I mean, it's still within their right like to deny um, videos, the same as, as, as YouTube and that, but the chances of it is, is a lot lower, I believe, uh, over over on Rumble. Because like I said, they only care about illegal activity. Hmm. Right? So that's why, like I said, this is just more of like a, if you guys want to start up over there, I'm not leaving YouTube. Like I had a few people be like, oh, well, why are you leaving YouTube? I'm not leaving YouTube. That just goes to show people just in through my video. They didn't actually look at it, but the, uh, I'm not leaving YouTube. My Most of my efforts are still going to be on YouTube. YouTube's still going to be my primary thing, right? right? That's where I think I could end up with the most success and I can end up with the most, but I just don't want, like I said, put all my eggs in one basket. Yep. I think as small YouTubers, getting our name out means right now at this point means more. And if you can go to multiple platforms, I mean, we're already YouTube, we're hitting Facebook. A lot of us are hitting Instagram. You know, I usually throw a, well, I haven't in a while, but I usually throw a thumbnail onto Instagram just so people can see it and go, oh, I might be interested. I'll go to YouTube. Um, But why not? I mean, in my, my, I'm like you, Daniel. Why not? Just throw it over there um, and see what happens. I mean, you know, it's just another form of income. It's it's automatically. Yeah, and, and you could always since that with with that option too to say Cody um, or Matt. Let's say I'm just thinking more for like bigger game hunting or something. Let's say you went out and you shot a, a um, I don't know a bear. Let's say you went and got your bear. Okay, you could as you're editing, you could have. I, I mean, there's a, it's a lot more effort, but you could. What I, my plan is to edit for Rumble. Put, edit my videos for Rumble. Release or um, uh, process that video, save it, and then go back in. And the places that I think that might not be great for YouTube, I'll just take those back. I'll bring those back a little bit, and then I'll process that video for YouTube. Then I have two videos with the same content. It's just one showing a little more than the other. That's my kind of. That's how I'm approaching this. Uh huh. And I mean, but I'm not. I'm not saying this like. We need a place to go so we can tear animals apart and people can see. Oh, crazy. absolutely. Absolutely. That's, we know that. But that's not what, like, I know, but like people coming in, like, like, you know, why do they need to see? Like, it's not that I people need to see it, but sometimes it's nice for people when they're getting into something to see the whole thing, the, the process. Um, not necessarily the gory stuff, but the emotional side of it, you know, like when you're killing an animal, when you're, when you approach a down animal and then, you know, even like the part two, we're going to butcher this thing now. You want to learn how to quarter up a bear? Here, watch the next video. Yep. It's nice to have a place where you can do that. You're painting the entire picture. Yeah, and I get that there's a lot of channels out there. Even now, there's huge hunting channels that haven't got touched by this whole thing that I guess there's like a dozen or so guys that are complaining that YouTube is going after them. Um, there's some people who haven't got anything. Nobody going after them. And those channels are even more, you know, sketchy from their perspective but it's like i said it's, it's that may, that worries me even more because where's the consistency right yep if it came out and said hey this is what we're doing then people be like okay cool let me make adjustments but instead they're like surprise and then there's no consistency and then the same person like somebody's got a catch and cook with fish i didn't know anybody could be offended by someone getting eaten a fish right 
the thing is, you know, the, the thing is too, is like, we don't know for sure that that actually even happened. You know, we're just going, taking the word of these guys. So we don't know. I mean, you know, they didn't show any proof that they didn't show a picture of their channel. They didn't show, you know, demonetized or something like that, you know? No, no, but they, they did show, they do have a lot of their videos taken down and I can't see why these guys like flair would take down videos. They're still making a lot of money off of them. Right. Right. I watched one guy today. I'm trying to remember his name. I think he's part of the Guggen squad as well, but he had to take down his alligator hunt video that he just put out. And it was doing, it was like peaking. It was doing really good. It was taken off and he was getting a lot of views and he had to go in and take it down. Huh. So I, I, it's not that I don't believe him, but I think there's gotta be some kind of truth with how unsure that they are because I don't know. I just know if I was in their situation and I had videos that were still making me a couple hundred bucks a week, right. I'm not going to, Pull those videos down just for uh, I mean they're also making money on the whole publicity that's going along right now as well but yep. uh, yeah it's just I don't know and then there's people who aren't even connected to those it's happening too so, yeah that's crazy like I said I don't know and the, the uncertainty that got me uh, not worried it's just got me it's making me prepared yep. That's yep. it's just making me prepared so is there any more questions? Like, I think that covers the licensing, the search functions, how to set it up. I think that's pretty much. Tell us about the $5. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, so we'll actually talk about another part of Rumble. All right. So I'm going to bring up my phone here. Let me see. All right. Let me see if I can get you guys. I'm going to drop off my picture for a second. <clears throat> Open the Rumble app. Hold on an angle. Okay. Down here you have home, discover, and then you can actually like take a photo and post it. There's a Rumble camera, which you got to download secondary app. Um, you can go to my videos. So this will show my, um, basically my uh, channel. Uh, sorry, it's hard to see there, guys. It's got just basically my channel. It shows me on my sub followers, subscribers, how many videos I got, and then it just shows me my video. You can see that those two are, uh, well, one's not out, but the other one is, is monetization pending as well there I'm at. Um, but now, when I go to Discover, okay? In Afghanistan, he humiliated our nation with the most appalling display of incompetence by an American president. There we go. In history. <laughs> So if I like that video, I'll go left or right. So let's say I go that way. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna just back out of that for a second. So when I swipe left or right on the video, so you'll see it basically it's almost like Tinder, but for a video. If I go to Discover, I'm just gonna. There we go. So if I go to Discover, my internet's running a little slow here now, so. Um, you'll see a video, okay? If I like the video, I can swipe left. If I don't like the video, I can swipe, swipe right or whatever, or vice versa. Um, you see there's a counter down here. It's really hard to um, count it down. Once that counts down to zero, then I can swipe. Boom. And it throws a ticket. Ah, someone's got a baby laughing. That's a cute. So I'll see that counter. I'll wait for that counter to go to zero. And cute. So I'm going to give it a, a like. Boom. Now, what I've done, I voted for Buddy's video. Buddy's video goes onto a little in a leaderboard. At the, once a day, they'll pick the top video that most people voted for, and they will give that person, I think it's anywhere from $100 to $50. And then for every video you vote for, you get a ticket. And then your ticket gets... <laughs> Daddy Duck's checking it out. Yeah, I am sorry. So, yeah, if I go that's left, I like it. If I go right, I don't like it. Yeah, if you just go left and right just a little bit, it'll give you an X or a punching glove. So, there's instead of a thumbs up, they use a punching glove. And then when you 
just by liking or disliking videos, every time you do one, you just got to watch so much of it. And that's how they kind of promote videos. They get you to watch like so many seconds of it. You'll get a ticket for every video you give that counter. You let that, that timer count down and you like or dislike, you'll get a ticket. And then that ticket, depending on how many you got, get put into a raffle. It's all electronic. And then your name will get, or they'll, they'll choose random tickets and then uh, they'll, you'll win five bucks here and there. So I played for two days. I won once. And that's how I got my $5. So just by going through videos and while I'm on, I'm sitting on the john, you know, and just boop, boop, boop. I could make a couple bucks, <laughs> but I'm, right. I'm going to watch some content anyway. So I might as well watch some content. And you bought yourself a roll of toilet paper. Yep, that's it. That's it. So you can make money elsewhere, like little bits here and there. I mean, you're not going to survive off that at all, but it's just nice instead of going through like YouTube shorts. And I don't want to keep comparing to YouTube because there are two different platforms, but just, just in comparison, uh, you have YouTube shorts where you're just going through. Well, this thing is kind of the same thing, except they're not shorts. They're full videos. You just got to like and uh, watch the first few seconds of it. And then you have a chance to win money. So they pay their viewers also, not just their content creators. Now, how about analytics? Is there pretty good analytics on Rumble for you to manage, keep track of? Say that again, sorry? Is there a, a good analytics tab on Rumble? Yeah, let's go back to it here and I'll, I'll see. I haven't played with the analytics tab too much because I don't really have much analytics because it's so new. Um, but let's go to, so I'm over here. I go to stats and analytics right here. And then if I had any to show, um, this is where the graph would be. And I could change it from daily, weekly, monthly, publisher only, combined, creator only. Um, you can do the dates, two and between two dates. You can do just a rumble platform, third party platforms, uh, YouTube platform. If you uh, now with the YouTube platform, that's for like the exclusive only. So they've taken ownership of the video that's on the YouTube and they're they're running that, right? Hmm. So, any good there and make sense any more questions boy i'm sure i could think of a lot of them if i had some time because <laughs> i mean i, I mean I'm, I'm interested i've just yeah. got so much invested in youtube like so much you, you know yeah yeah but you, you're not you're not taken away from youtube Right, right, but I'm saying like, like time, like literally. Well, Matt knows it. He calls me all the time, and I'm like, I can't talk. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing this or I'm doing that or, you know, but. No, I get it, but you, you could as well. Like before you go to bed tonight, go on the Rumble, take one of your videos you want to throw on there, and just hit upload. I might do that. You could just hit upload, and then once it's uploaded in the morning, you just gotta like go through the options, check option number two. They're not going to touch your YouTube. They're going to leave that alone. Yeah, I, might, I, might, I might try it. And then it's just over there, right? And if somebody watches it, great. If nobody watches it, then eventually someone's going to watch it. It's going to be there. It does take a while, though, right, for, for traffic on videos because, um, you know, unless people are – a lot, you got a lot of subscribers, and then they come back, and they're, they're dedicated subscribers. It's like starting YouTube, basically, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're basically starting over, but you're not starting over because you have your YouTube. This is just a little something extra. This is just another like a side project. That's all. Is there uh, live streams over there as well? Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing I want to touch on. Good question. Yes, yeah, this, this is why I got you guys up here. So they have live stream. You got to go through StreamYard or a sec like we all do. Most of us they go we do, go through a uh, you know a secondary uh, website. But they right now their live streams are only for people who have bought the package. That allows like storage and, and stuff like that, but it's going to be available for everyone. They're just updating their equipment and everything else. So actually, if I just go to, uh, let me just bring it back over here again. Bring that back up. Hey, Becca, and, how are you? Um, hey, Beck. See. Sorry, I'm trying over here trying to win five bucks. I'm mid, basically. <laughs> Hey, that's two. Oh, I'm that's four apple pies, man. That'll work. What's that? So if I win five bucks, that's four apple pies. 
<laughs> yeah. So if I go back to Rumble here, it uh, it actually just says at this time live stream is only available for starter package or larger. We will be making live stream available to all users in the near future as we continue to scale these services. But because they are growing so fast, um, you're going to see a lot of like changes happening um, with with their platform and stuff and what they have available and what you can do. Uh, they've already updated their app. Their app apparently is absolutely horrible, like the one that you, you guys are looking at there now. Uh, and they're making changes in that. That was updated not too long ago, actually. <coughs> cool. Hmm. Mr. Reluctant there, isn't it? Hey, Matt. Yeah, I'm just thinking about using this as a secondary. I mean, I'm talking about Cody down there. He's a uh, yeah. scared. <laughs> oh, I tell you. <laughs> well, it's just that, you know, it, it's like I've put, and I, I realize it's not going to mess with YouTube. I just put yeah, yeah. so much effort and work, and it's been working. You know, it's like, oh, a complication, you know. Oh, that's the other thing, too. Sorry, Al brought up a good point that I forgot to mention. You knew, you do need $50 initially to cash out. So it would be like YouTube. You need 100 to get paid. Yeah, exactly. Here you need 50 And the whole reason for that is because they don't want just people going in, starting a quick account, playing this ticket game for a few days, winning a few bucks, taking it, and just quitting Right? They, they they want a community over there. They want people to grow. They want people to stay there. They don't want these just these little people going over and uploading one video and then disappearing. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up, Al. Appreciate it. Well, um, let me ask this. If maybe somebody knows. I mean, would it be best here in the beginning of this, like, me personally, I've always just lo uploaded one video a week. Every now and then, I'll do two. Like I, I put one up today. Yeah, you know, I put a couple shorts up, but generally, I put up I put up one video a week. And here lately, I've been doing two live streams a week. So, I mean, would you just go into your into your in into a playlist and just just do a massive dump? And just try to get as many over there, or would you just play it quietly? Yeah, that would depend on the person. I mean, some people might want to do that. For me, I've been I've been trying to be a little selective. I want to bring back some old content that, that I feel that is, uh, you know, it's 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 pretty decent, but it just didn't get the views that it got back in the day because I just didn't have. I mean, there's not a lot of people that subscribe to someone and go back and look at their old stuff. They're only interested in the what what they got now and what's coming in the future right so even i've got a lot more subscribers versus some of my early stuff but like one of my favorite videos and i know it's my favorite video so it might not be most people's uh up there in videos but the one where i went to the beach with my kids and we got seawater and we made salt um i like that because it's showing like how you can get something from you know creating something out of nothing kind of thing and uh yeah, that one didn't do too great, but I also never have very many subscribers when that's one of my first videos I ever did. So that one will probably end up over there because a lot of people over there, you know, they don't care if it's new or, 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 or old because it's going to be new over there. Raymond, Raymond says you can only upload five videos per day. I mean, not Raymond, Al, sorry. You can upload only five videos per day. So, uh, yeah, I know I'm the devil's advocate down here. No, that's good. We need that. But uh, here, here's another issue that I see. Okay, so like we have our faithful, you know, viewers on YouTube, our community and stuff, and I'm ever grateful for that. Yeah. If the guy starts to rumble, you know, a lot of people aren't going to have time to go watch each other's stuff, you know. That's why, like, my stuff over there, I'm, I'm not expecting to post it over there and expect everybody who watches my stuff on YouTube to go double up and watch it a second time over there. It's only, it's over there for people on Rumble to find me. And if they find me over there and they come to YouTube, well, that's even better. Right. That's all I'm about. I mean, right. if, if someone on Rumble wants to come to YouTube and watch my stuff over there, they're, they're more than welcome. Or they can watch that, it over there. I'm, that's I'm why. For, for whoever, that's, right? That's why I agree with what you're saying earlier like i'm just going through some old videos just to get just to throw it out there mm -hmm. but i i uploaded a new video today 
I'm going to put it on Rumble. Um, it went to YouTube. I'm not looking for YouTube people. I'm looking for Rumble. Yeah. Wednesday, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just using a playlist of old videos just as throwing them out there for, for new people, not not for the not for the YouTube. Because, I mean, yeah, I subscribe to you, Daniel, and, and I would subscribe to any of, the, any of the people in here. But I don't think it's all about subscribers, is it? It's more no. – it, it's not about subscribers like it is with YouTube. Well, so YouTube is not about subscribers, though, either. Well, you got to have a thousand to get money. Initially, you got to have 4, initially, watch hours. Initially, the culture that YouTube creates uh, with their initial like one thousand milestone, right? You know, the four thousand that 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 creates a culture where people who are new to YouTube they come in and they obsess with that one thousand number. They're pushing for that one thousand number, and they obsess with that number. So, subscribers to new content creators. Is like gold. They, they, the, the, the subscriber number is what they're looking at because that's what's going to get them to that next tier, right? That's what YouTube has promised them, but that's not the case. Majority of it should be uh, uh, your views, right? Your views count more than than your subscribers. Mm -hmm. You've got ten thousand subscribers, and you only got your mom and dad watching your stuff. What's the point? Right, right, right. That's why you got like, like these channels that like guys are going out there and they're buying subscribers. They're paying these companies for fake subscribers. And then you're looking like, oh man, this guy's got 6,000 subscribers. He's doing pretty good. And then, then you look and you're like, oh, but he's got like 12 people watching stuff. And then you get kicked off of YouTube because you violate the terms of service. Yeah, exactly. You know, but I mean, I got, I got, I got over a thousand subscribers and I don't get nothing close to a thousand views on most of my videos. Right. But, and I, I already know that like very, very small percentage of my subscribers actually even got the bell on. So I, I, I'm very, very much aware that a lot of people who subscribe to me, they just go, oh, this seems like a nice dude. I'll give them something for free. Click. And then that's it. They'll never yep. think of me again yep. until they up their subscriber list. And then now all of a sudden I'm down a few, which happens all mm -hmm. the time. I've been stuck at this number for weeks. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's weird how it goes. So, like, the last three weeks, three to four weeks, I've been gaining five subscribers a day. I put out that live stream, does you is YouTube demonetizing hunting? And bang, I quit gaining subscribers for a couple days. You want, want me to tell you something? Yeah. I posted that little rant about what I was doing to Rumble. I almost instantly lost eight subscribers really on my analytics and i look at that video nobody left while watching that video because you can tell if someone you gain a subscriber on a particular video or you lose subscriber on a particular video you can right i didn't lose any they disappeared from somewhere now it could have been just coincidence and they did one of their audits and could close down a bunch of accounts too um i don't know but it's just to me it's just like eh, it raised eyebrows and i just kind of brushed it off and didn't care i kind of might expect something uh, to come out of this live stream just because of my title and stuff. But another funny thing is on that live stream, yeah, you, you can look at analytics three different ways on three different parts of the analytics. You know, have your your views and all that stuff. None of those three match up on that video. No, I just checked. I just went down two subscribers since I started this video. Wow! So, <laughs> I'm actually, I, I, my my number, my I had uh, 1.03, okay, and now I'm at 1.02 right now, and I just checked my analytics and I went down two. Mm -hmm. So I, I, <laughs> I don't know what's. Oh, I went down I, one. Yeah. Well, heck, I better I'm check. A, my name is John. I'm with Small Water Charters. <laughs> That's dirty, Matt. <laughs> I gained one. Oh, good. My name is Daddy. I'm 365. <laughs> <laughs> and you gained one. Yeah, but yeah. My and I'm gonna say like I don't. I'm not saying that I'm affected by it, and I don't want to think that i'm hot like even warranted 
a blimp on on YouTube's radar. Uh, but since this whole thing with the outdoor community started happening, um, I haven't been demonetized because I'm not monetized. I haven't bothered even really looking into being monetized. But I can tell you one thing: since that started, that's when my that's exactly the same time, almost to the day that Flair and those boys mentioned it. I stopped making subscribers and I started going down the other way. Cody, I'm 10 subscribers less with three new videos out. Huh. That's why I find I, I'm, I'm just, this is why I'm like, you know what? I don't know what Big Brother's doing. I have no idea what's going on. Right. Uh, it's all computers and analytics and certain keywords and stuff they're looking for. I don't know. Uh, all I know is that, um, yeah, it's my channel has died right out completely. Well, but but so here's one thing though, uh, Daniel. My channel died in April. Yeah. April and May and June and and July. It finally started coming back, and now it's almost as good as it was last winter. Now, did yours die or did it slow down? Oh, it. My views got uh, cut by sixty percent. Yeah. Um, here's the thing. This is what I find funny is. Um, some of my views have actually gone up, but my subscriber count keeps falling and I can't find it, which videos they're watching where I'm losing them. Well, you, even, even looking at analytics, they won't, it, you can't see it really. I can't, I can't find which one they're, I'm losing them on. Huh. I just know the number keeps dwindling and I mean, I'm, I'm not focusing. Like I said, it's fine. It's fine because you know, the people who, uh, oh, my boy just logged on Zach. Hey Zach. Hey. Hi Zach. <laughs> he's upstairs. Um, Tom says he feels like he's running on fumes. Yeah, I don't know. I just, like I said, I'm not a. I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist or anything like that, but I, I just, if someone says that YouTube just stopped promoting outdoor content and and instead of demonetizing it, that I would believe very easily because i'm I, I almost feel like i'm feeling it right now but i've noticed like in the analytics where it, you know you go under reach and it shows the impressions um let me just look here uh, yeah yeah that i get that every now and then but that's just that's youtube they're uh oh why not monetize yeah um i don't know i was just looking for the outdoor channel i just i don't the reason why I'm not getting monetized right now there, Boxy, is I don't want it to feel like work. And with my job and my job title, I could get I could be gone tomorrow. I don't know. I could have to leave at any given time. And I wouldn't want to commit myself to something that if I'm taken away from it for a couple months, I have a lot of catching up to do and I have you know the struggle to get those numbers and stuff. So right now I'm just just coasting, having fun with it, enjoying the community. I'm not I'm, I'm not worried about it. I'd rather have enough wait till I have enough subscribers where it doesn't feel like work. And if I had to disappear for a month or two, I can disappear for a month or two and the channel will kind of take care of itself. But. So after, um, for the month of, uh, this last 28 day period, my impressions are for that month, what they were in about four months earlier this year. Oh yeah. So, you know, I don't, I don't know. Like, I think there's a lot of things that go into it, yeah. but I, I, I couldn't pin anything down in particular. I know that for me, obviously fall and winter is going to be my, my time to make, make hay while the sun shines as they, as they say, you know. Um, I am going to make an announcement about my channel now though. And um, I know some people aren't going to like it and some people couldn't care less or whatever. But my Mug Up Mondays are going to be on pause for a while. I don't know how long. I just, um, I'm feeling that my channel, it's, it's, I'm finding it hard to even get out right now just with, with everything going on. Um, doing the Mug Up Mondays every, like getting it done. It's the editing. The editing takes a long time, right? So getting it done, right. the editing else once a week i know it's not much of a commitment but as a full-time um you know worker and dad and everything else and with the hunting season coming up and a bunch of freezers that need to be filled 
I don't want to take away from that. So I want to focus more on my actual you know, backwoods barbarian content and my adventures and my hunting. And I'm going to step away from the mug up Mondays for a little bit. Um, <laughs> small water soup is the only education he was getting. <laughs> but uh, I'm, it's just, I, I don't want to, I got to take away from somewhere and I'd rather take away from the mug up Mondays right now and put more effort into my adventure videos and actually building the channel, how I want it to build it, which is more of a, let's follow this crazy guy around while I do stuff. And that's kind of yeah. what I want to do. Well, I can tell you now, um, I'll be sad to see it go. Like some other people put it in the chat. That was my favorite thing you did. I really enjoyed it. But it's I under I understand what you're saying. Got it. Yeah, it's just got to disappear for a little bit. I mean, it. Uh, if not, I mean, I don't. I, I'm gonna have to keep coming out with. Hey, I'm not doing the mug up Monday this week. Not doing the mug up Monday this week. Not. Do, you know what I mean? I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna say right now, I'm not doing it. I will bring it back when I have more time, and I, that could be in a couple of weeks, could be in a couple of months or whatever. It's just I'm working split shifts. And with everything else going on, and I just, I just want to commit my focus to the channel and build my channel up in other areas instead of uh, the mug up Mondays, because that's something. And, and I that's understand. That, to me, that's understandable, Daniel. It really is. I understand it, but I'm just saying personally, for me, I will definitely miss it. I appreciate I, that. I, I've, I like I've told you that before offline. You know, the, it, it it was it was just awesome. I, it was just. It is what it is, but you know, I yeah. got you. It, it, um, at first it was great because I kept it very simple, but then my editing got the best of me. And now I want to, like I said, I want to put my best foot forward all the time. And I'm like, right. my up, last mug up Monday I did, I went out and I think it took me, uh, well, which one was the one I did last? I can't remember now. I gotta look. My last mug up Monday was, oh, it was in my backyard. It was so, the chickens and stuff, wasn't it? Chickens and that, yeah. So that one there was in my backyard. That one took me all of half hour to, to film. But it took me like six hours to edit. Mm -hmm. Right? So, yeah, I just, I just need to, I want to put my focuses elsewhere because I'm finding like, there, there's a bunch of chanterelles I wanted to get out and pick and I haven't been able to get out to get it. Because like last uh, sat, uh, Sunday when I wanted to go, I had to make the choice between going and getting chanterelles. <laughs> I do the mug up Monday because a lot of people were looking forward to it and I didn't want to let anybody down. But yeah, so that would have right now I'll come back to it eventually, but just not yet. Smother a bear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna smother that's my next thing. I want to take out a bear with a pillow. I want to smother smother a bear to death. That's what I'm gonna do. Real real quick when you mentioned bear Daniel, uh we have not had a hit on a bait for uh, almost two and a half weeks now. Oh, really? I set a bait up eight miles from my house. Uh, we worked on it last night till midnight, putting up stands and everything. We had a bear in there within four hours. Oh, yeah? So we'll see Get what happens. Honey. Say what? Get a couple honey burns going, like a good honey burn. Right. Throw a little bit of caramel in there, too, if you can. That that you, they they might just be out of range, right? They, you just might need to get them in range. Well, the the problem where I was uh, hunting up with Chris and Alex is they're harvesting corn right now. The acorns fell, and now they're harvesting corn. There's yeah. guys that have been in combines that have have chased out twelve bears out of a cornfield. Oh yeah. So. Yeah. So that that'll do it. They're getting their fill elsewhere. Right. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, they cut down my trees. Not only that, they uh, the same company, the Irving company, they went and sprayed pesticides, a, a guy that I know, all over where he was baiting bears. Not only that, they sprayed it, the, the tree that his stand was in, he they sprayed all that, they sprayed his bait. Like all over his bait area was sprayed. He went in and there was stuff, and he's like, What the heck? They, they just didn't care. This is why I'm a firm believer. It's kind of a double-edged sword, I guess, that they should be letting people know when they're going to be spraying and when they're going to be cutting because people have plans 
It right. is crap land. It belongs to everyone. Yep. But then the government says, hey, no, you you guys can cut down this lot of land. But they don't let anybody know. And it's like, well, people are established there. Right. We're getting ready, especially this time of year, right? Boris One, you're very welcome. Uh, does anybody else have any more questions about Rumble before we uh, we end this? Or at least stop talking about it? Yeah, they shouldn't be allowed to do that. I agree that with that. Uh, oh. it's, uh, but I get why they don't tell people, because then you have a bunch of these crazy-ass uh, environmentalist people who are going out and spiking trees. Right. Trying to change equipment, so they, they don't want people to know where they're going to be cutting. So these environmentalists are going out and cutting trees. Now they're now they're making them have to do things a, a different. You know what I mean? That's not not very fair for hunters and trappers. Anyways, I don't want to complain about that. We all had a uh, bearish. Oh yeah, Foxy had a bear show up. He said. You know, uh, Daniel, it'd be nice if you did a video on how to properly do a honey burn. Oh, yeah, I can do one of that for you. Just a I'll video idea for you. Yeah, I got, I got, I got time. Uh, um, what's tomorrow? Monday. Um, yeah, I can do one next time I go in to, to bait the site. Hopefully, have a, have a quick video up for you at the end of the week. Maybe do a honey burn. Um. The Huntsman said uh, he films, edit, uploads about five hours top live. Yeah, live. Yeah, if, if if you're, yeah, for sure. If your focus is to make money on your content, that is definitely the better reward uh, for time and investment. Uh, I like editing, though. I, I enjoy editing. I, I went to college. I had a business that I did videography and photography and stuff. And I, I enjoy the process of editing. I, I like going out and videotaping, coming back in something out of what I thought would have been just crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm reading chat. <laughs> so I don't think anybody else has any more uh, questions. I like doing live streams too. And I like doing live streams with a panel. I, I enjoy this. I uh, just having the time to dedicate and with, with, with me, the rule was dad's going in live stream, turn off the internet. <laughs> if not, it'll be too slow for me to do anything. I'm going to hear this now. I'll be done in here. I'll go out and my kid will be like, Oh, I was, you said I could play one more game. Yeah. I'll be right back. Over well, it's more digestible content for those ah. limited. Yeah, you're right, Huntsman. No, I get it. And uh, especially if you are like a stream, I'm not a streamer. You're you you consider yourself a streamer, right? I'm 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 definitely not. I I don't think I have a uh, I have a personality for hanging out with the guys, but I don't have a personality for streaming. I don't think I'm going to bring in a lot of traffic with my uh, my personality. Oh, I think you do. Yeah, I find myself biting my tongue a lot on here. That's the only thing. More hair on your chin your head. Yeah, you got more hair on your chin than your head, Matt. That's what uh, John's saying. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I had to get I had to get uh, my ears lowered the other day. Thanks, Al. Oh, Cody, where the heck? you go in a different place now no my my kid just got home she she won uh at a horse show today so she, she had shown me her trophy so oh nice nice congratulations can't hear can she no they left they walked out. i turned the mic because she was she she was pretty animated when she was in here so i turned the mic off and the camera off So. All right, China guy. Oh, he's saying hello, Daniel. It's probably that living MN Daniel. Oh, that light is really harsh, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> that living MN Daniel. That. <laughs> so. 
Yeah, I pretty much picked your brain the other day when we were talking, Daniel, and about this. But yeah, you know, I just, the the it's the scary the, scene. the last four options is what's got me. Yeah. So I think I got it now. Yeah, and I think for the like the the post your YouTube link to the same video. I think that's just because they don't want you. They want to make sure it's like the same video. Right, this is like the original upload kind of thing because they're gonna they're gonna manage it minus YouTube. That's for the first one. I don't want that. Yeah, no, the, the second one. Second one is that that they manage. They manage it only on Rumble, though, right? On the second one, yeah, they they'll they'll, they'll manage everything but uh, YouTube. Right. Leave, them in yeah, leave, leave, leave my YouTube to me, and I'll be happy. Yeah. That's <laughs> the how, are, how are you doing for watch hours, uh, Daniel? I don't even know, man. It's uh, You've got to be getting close. I don't know, because I haven't been getting a lot lately. And, th- and now my channel's over a year old. The stuff that I, like, it's off, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Have them, and I don't do a lot of lives. I know you get. I, I get a lot of lot of watch time when I go live. But uh, hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, no, I'm not even close. Really? Yeah. Oh, they updated their thing too. Yeah, I'm only like maybe three fifths of the way there. Step verification. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, that's all I need to get monetized is public watch hours. But like I said, I'm not I'm not pushing for that anyway. Doesn't matter. Not to me. Not right now. Irene Frontiers here. Don't like bushcraft B roll. No, I mean some people don't. Some people do. Some people don't. That's why you got to find the audience that suits you. Oh, you're going to, you're going now, right, Zach? Zach, where are you going? Yeah. All right. I don't think uh you guys got any other questions. Not at this time, I don't. I mean we can sit here and chat. I'm I'm actually just kind of like going back and forth looking at rumble to see if I come up with another question. Now, what is a rumble? I says up here it says I have eleven rumbles. What does that mean? That's basically eleven likes. So between your comments and your videos, you have eleven people who have liked stuff. Okay. Uh, Force one to bite fishing. Uh, that would just be me. It's whoever's hosting the live gets the uh, hours. That's why a lot of the a lot of the guys here uh, they'll take turns going back and forth to other people's lives when they're doing panels and stuff, just to share out all the wealth. Frontier, well, yeah. Well, I'm I'm gonna have to close this up here, guys, because uh, I got a little boy that I think wanted to play one more video game before going to bed, and uh, I'm not gonna hear the end of it if I don't allow him to get back. <laughs> <and do it. laughs> okay. Appreciate you uh, doing this, Daniel, and and the info. And I'm I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it a look. I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna look into it. Don't be scared. We're here for you. Well, I'm not scared, but I, I just I don't know. What is a rumble? Somebody keeps asking. A rumble is uh, yeah, it's just a voting button. It's a it's a like. That's all it is. It's it's a like. Um, and they use. They use a boxing glove because they have the, the, the let's get ready to rumble kind of thing. If you like something, you punch it. And if you don't, I don't know. I guess the one thing that I, I do see a benefit is getting into it early is like, man, if a guy would have got into YouTube in about 2006. Well, that's my kind of thought process on, on it too, is, is that it, it's growing now. So if you're going to get into it, now is probably a good time because it's, you know, it's only going to continue growing. And if you've been, you're established and you're one of the, you know, I wouldn't say originals, but if you've been there for a while and there's not, I mean, there's some outdoor content and bushcrafting stuff and stuff like that out there, but there's, it's not a lot. It's not fully saturated like it is on, on uh, YouTube. 
So uh, there's, yeah, I, there's a potential over there anyways for growth. That's for sure. So. All right. All right, man. All right. Appreciate you. Daniel, yeah, appreciate it. Cody, awesome nice seeing you again. Chad, yep. y'all have a good night. Yeah, you too, man. Catch you later. I'll be on tomorrow. Thanks, everybody, right. for coming in. Appreciate it. Uh, one quick question here. Frontier said, can you link all your YouTube content to Rumble? Uh, no. You have to upload to Rumble and upload to YouTube, and you got to check out the licensing agreement to see which one better suits you. But as a YouTuber, the second option is probably the best because it is everything. They manage everything besides YouTube. Don't just um, make sure also, you just YouTube any questions about Rumble, like how to set up this, how to do that. There's a bunch of videos on it as well. There's other people out there way better at it not, than I am. I just wanted to have a live stream so I could talk face to face and answer questions directly because I, I, when I was trying to figure it out, I couldn't get any of that. I had to go into people's chats and stuff. So make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video. Yeah. Is Boxy live tonight? Does anybody know if Boxy's live? Boxy's not going live. He's, yeah, he's uh, pooped. He's tired. Okay. Uh, Earlier because I didn't want to step on his toes with this. So let me, uh, let me just check YouTube very quick, see if there's anybody live. We got the Mountain Bushcraft Alliance is live. NBA, you guys know that guy. Mm -hmm. uh, What's going on? Thank God. Now, now he's got a bunch of people over there. Hey, Mark J. Larson's over there. Yep. That's, he went over there instead of coming to my live stream. We're going over to get him. I'm going to call him out. Too. All right. All right. Post the link. <laughs> guys i'm shutting it down thanks for coming in appreciate it appreciate both you guys love you all Talk see ya later. take care <laughs>